Hey everybody, okay, this is Sunday. Uh, there's a new week getting ready to start. Just a quick message. Oh, I always say quick message, but anyway. Um, just a couple things. Really proud of a lot of people. One, including one of my daughters. Um, you know, I don't stress the food and the exercise with my kids. I lead by example. They still eat certain things, certain things I will not cook for them. Um, but it's a timing for people. And I have one daughter who's been working out and asking me questions. And then she went to put on some pants today and she said, Mommy, they fit. And they didn't used to fit. And so she's so tickled because it's about being consistent. And she's really doing good and trying hard. And so I'm so proud of her. And that's just a bigger, bigger message for everyone. It's timing for everybody. Um, I believe every, it's everyone's time. But you have to have your mind right and be ready to take that healthy lifestyle change and stick to it. And then when you see results, then you're not tempted by other things. Because she's turned down things and said no. Um, or gets mad because my hubby has bought some you know, food that we don't eat in the house because he eats it. So I'm just really proud of her. And then, um, so today is my day to spend time by myself for a couple hours and do my leg workout, no clients. But then I want to reflect on, I posted a picture of my parents. You know, they're 76, 77 years old. And I'm not being biased, but they look so beautiful. And it was such a nice picture of them smiling. And I was thinking about how do they get to look that way besides jeans? Well, we didn't eat that healthy growing up, but growing up it was like meat and potatoes all the time. Meat and potatoes, meat and potatoes, you know, fried food. Um, and I never really cared for it that much anyway, the fried part. I was kind of picky. But we always had three meals. But you know what the key to their success is? We can never sit. We are always moving. So that's my message to you guys, the ones that don't eat that well. Do you just sit? Because that's where you gain the weight. But my parents are always active, always moving, and still are. My mom's outside every day in the garden. My dad's constantly moving, even if he's not able to as well as he was before. And that's kind of where I get my hyperness from. I can't sit because my grandmother would say, you sleep when you're dead, get up and go do something. And my parents were always working, so I felt guilty to be in the house just sitting watching TV. And we weren't allowed to. You were always moving. There was always something to do, and you had to do it. And that's how you live and stay healthy. You know, they're retired, but they're not retired because they're still doing stuff. And that's my message to you guys, the ones that don't eat healthy and you just sit. The key to your success is not only the food, but if you just start moving a little bit, then you'll be tempted for the healthier food and not the other food that makes you tired. You know, um, our lives are so important nowadays and we have to do the best we can do. And it's just doing baby steps, you know, park your car farther away, um, Go outside for a walk. Today is beautiful. So you can't walk the whole lake. Who cares? The whole lake. Who cares? Walk half of the lake. So you can't walk up a flight of steps. You know, it's baby steps in every journey you take, but you have to start. So that's just my message. Um, I'm working on age 50. My birthday is next year, May 14th. I plan not to be here. Well, I'll be here for my birthday, but we'll plan a trip later. Um, but I want to be at my best. And so you have to push it. Um, you know, I have a list of workouts I'm supposed to do. Uh, he might get to the last one. He's like, oh, I'll do that later. It's easy to talk yourself out of it more so than talk yourself into it. So it's a lot of self-talk and keeping positive people around you and reading positive things. So think about that today on Sunday. Um, and hopefully people are preparing the food. No one's doing push-ups. I've done like almost 200 now. No one's posted them. You have to start somewhere. So God bless. I'm gone. Bye.